Hi, it's Robert here. Today we're going to talk about adding alternate text to your images in Constant Contact and why that's important. Many email clients, and here's an example from Microsoft Outlook, uh, will take out the image information when they first display an email. And this happens both on desktops and on mobile devices. And you get these kinds of messages that you're seeing here on the screen. Most people's attention goes right to this little top bar. As an Outlook user, you're kind of trained to look here. But you have to take this extra step to click to download the pictures. Now, this is actually an email marketing piece that came from Constant Contact. And you can see that all the images are stripped out. And we've got these other little red X's here that indicate that there's another image here. And I think we have, we'll have we blow that up on the next screen. Here's the, here's the messaging. right? And there's that look, the red X that we're, that we're drawing our attention to here. So this doesn't really tell the person on the other end anything, right? So they get these sort of cryptic messages. It doesn't look pretty. It's not worth their time. Um, you have to also consider that over half of emails are being opened now on a mobile device. So that's a, in and a probably, person's probably multitasking. They see this thing. They don't know what it is. They're very likely to skip right over it. Not much you can do about that as a marketer because this is definitely a function of the device on the other end and nothing you can control from the constant contact side. But there is one thing that we do to sort of help at least get part of the message across, make the person who's receiving the email understand that there's a little more here, it's not a mistake, and give them a lead into what they can expect if they do actually download the images. And we'll show that uh, what to do next. And that's when you add the alternate text. So here we are inside the Constant Contact editor, and this is the image that we were hoping to show on the previous screen. So you can see it's a pretty nice image, a nice holiday image. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in now and add that alternate text. So as I mouse over the block, you can see that the type of block, the name shows up. And on the upper right-hand corner, we have the block level control. So I'm going to click the pencil for edit this block. That opens up the contents of the block, and we can see we have the content editor right up in the top here with all the uh, formatting controls. But I'm mostly, I'm, I'm totally concerned about the image here, so I'm going to click on the gear, which opens up the settings for the image. And there are a number of settings that you can change here, but we're just going to go to change, which brings up the image editor. All right. Uh, we have a number of functions that we can do here, but we're focused right here on this. Uh, block called image description and this is where we add the alternate text it goes here it's not the caption uh, yes we would make this a clickable link but we're talking about the alternate text and that's the image description so I could put the file name in fact it will default to the file name which is uh, again generally not very descriptive I could describe the image itself I could say deer with red bow in front of white feathery Christmas trees and icicles but that's not really, um, that's, that's better than nothing. But let's put on our marketing hat here. Let's, let's sell it a little. Let's give folks an idea about what they're going to see when they download all the images. Um, so let's do something like this. Let's call it stunning holiday items for your home, right? So that should be something that's a little more enticing. Let's insert uh, the image. The, that alternate text is now behind there. Let's click Save, and let's go back and see how that worked out. Sure enough, here's how it comes in, and you can see the alternate text that we added is right here, Stunning Holiday Items to Warm Your Home. And that's certainly better than nothing. Not as good as the picture uh, showing up, but it's better than nothing. It gives the recipient a clue as to what the image is going to portray combined with, uh, you know, they know who it's from because your from name is in the email. They've seen the subject line, both that combination of things entice them to open it up in the first place. And this last piece uh, should get them to click and download the pictures and get your, um, your email marketing piece in front of them.